Hey all and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutchy Gaming and day 5 of our Layback Exile series. Uh, we'll just quickly recap before we move on. I'm not going to keep going over the rules and stuff like that because it's all available uh, in the first video if you need to catch up. Uh, but we're going to continue our Atlas grind. So just to really quickly summarise the last time uh, we were here. We finished getting our watchstones in Lyra Arthane mainly because we wanted to get um, exotic goods which we farmed for a 6 link. Done a lot of jigging with our skills and our gems. So we've now got six link skellies, got a bit of minion damage on our wand. Uh, we've tweaked our auras a little bit and then we've gone and got some spectres to give us frenzy charges for minions. Now I'm not too bothered about progressing the atlas much more today. What I want to do is get this next node unlocked in Haywalk Hamlet for essences. Farm that for probably the whole session once we get it unlocked. See how many essences we can get to craft better gear and hopefully get a better wand. Once we're then ready to go, we can then start farming and doing the two watchstone and three watchstone regions and see how we get on. I will quickly recap gear. So it's all junk. As I say, we found a six link, not the right colours, but luckily we hit five blue, one red. It's nowhere near ideal for skeletons, but it does the job. So at the moment, we're running a six link of predator support, minion speed, minion damage, feeding frenzy and melee splash, and then some skeletons attached. Feeding Frenzy we don't really need in there because we get it from other minions, but it makes the skeletons aggressive, which gives them a bit more range to stop them wandering off and me having to resummon them every three seconds. So without further ado, we'll jump in. The only other thing I'm going to look to do today, if I can get some highest contracts together, is maybe run all of what we've got, maybe after an hour farming Haywalk Hamlet, the last half hour we go and run some heist because we still really want that dead reckoning jewel to be able to turn the spectres into the rain spectres. Uh, it's more DPS, the clear is better, and it's just easier to gear because it's all blue gems. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking.
so that's the end of day five wasn't the most successful day because we ran into the usual map sustain issues that's going to happen from time to time i think we went four to five maps which is all we had in our decent like tier six to eight pool without dropping a map so we had to go to plan b go to delve find some cities get some maps that took about half hour so it took a bit of time we did end up getting the haywalk hamlet maps that we needed to get the next maven passive unlocked and in doing so we also got our eight watchstone so we've now got the passives that we were looking for we've got exotic goods so we can farm any sort of drops whenever we want from uh, lira arthane and then we've got the haywalk hamlet essence passive so that any haywalk hamlet map we go in we know we're going to get decent essences um, now towards the end of the footage you'll notice i just kept ducking in and out of dungeons the reason being is that the essence monster is always always in the first room unless there's like an odd instance where there might be a vile side area or, or maybe a league mechanic in the first room the essence monster is always here so i had seven tier one dungeon maps that i built up never going to use them so it's just a case of going in killing the essence monster looting your essences and leaving i did that seven times also noticed there was an expedition in one of them that i went in uh completed that got some tuition currency and a nice logbook uh, so these are all the essences that i farmed in about it must have been about three minutes uh, from dungeon so they're going to be really handy for getting some gear improvements because well the gear is absolutely rubbish so what we're going to look to do in the next episode is the gear we've got is good enough to farm the next four watchstones and at the same time we'll try and pick up some more essences and maybe do a couple of lira arthane maps to see if we can get lucky and get a better colored six link really and then from there we're just going to push on because time is ticking on now i want to start getting that atlas progression we've been a bit unlucky because we've not had any zana missions yet we've just got one tick over now because it's gone past midnight on the day um three of these episodes were recorded in the same day because i want to get footage ready uh that i can release over christmas just in case you know i can't play on you know i'm not going to play christmas day for example i might not be able to play christmas eve or boxing day um so i wanted to get some footage built up so i can keep releasing them daily but hopefully we can get a few zana missions built up because then we can start filling our atlas out and then we're going to be able to progress uh, a lot quicker uh, that's it for this episode be another one out tomorrow um, as always thanks for watching take care and see you in the next video